What's up everybody? I've got a tool that costs less than $15 that I think every technician should have in their toolbox. Now when I say you need to have this tool doesn't mean you have to buy it. You can make it or you probably have the materials around to uh, put it together yourself. What I'm talking about is this fuel test uh, bottle. This is a super tester RevX oil. This is from Amazon. It was like 13 bucks. Really no big deal. What you do is you fill this thing up with water up to this line right here and then you fill it up the rest of the way of gasoline, shake it up and then you let it sit and it'll tell your ethanol content. Now the problem I have many times with vehicles is not so much ethanol content, it's contamination. Uh, I'm getting fuel that uh, you know is discolored, um, it doesn't burn properly in the engine. Many times just putting fuel into the bottle, you can have your water there, shake it all up, but many times just uh, filling it up with the fuel, you will notice you have a problem right off the rip. You'll, you'll see uh, you know, contamination, foam, or um, milky stuff in your gas, and that's a problem. So let's go ahead and demonstrate good fuel. Uh, we'll do some E85, and then we'll also uh, have some sugar contaminated fuel. Here we are getting our test set up, uh, set up if you will. We're going to go ahead and add water and fill it up to that line. As you can see, the consistency of the water, and we are filled to the line. We're going to do normal, good gasoline first. This is good gasoline, uh, probably uh, 87 or 88 octane, whatever the cheap stuff was at the time. But this is known good fuel, and you guys can see the color difference uh, between the water and the fuel right away. So we fill it up to the line here cap it off and give it a good shake. So you can see almost immediately that the gasoline, the discolored um, part is on top, that's the gasoline, and it's separating pretty quickly here. So we'll give this a little bit of time, and this is about five minutes elapsed, approximately. And you can see right here pretty clearly that we're a little bit less than 10% ethanol. Now, one thing to take a look at is I always look at where the water and the fuel meet, and you can kind of see this nice separation line. This is something that just comes with looking at multiple samples. Next up, I had to go to the gas station and buy some E85. I haven't had an E85 vehicle except for one vehicle, a 2009 Caravan, and I noticed a significant loss in power, uh, you know, definitely underpowered with E85, so I never used it. And once again, we're going to take our test bottle filled up with water to that line. And just so you know, the little rubber, this is a paper gasket on top of the cap. It got stuck. We're going to go ahead and fill this up with E85. Now, one thing to notice is as this pours into the bottle, you can definitely see a difference in um, color compared to normal gasoline. There's still a difference between the water and the, the fuel that's getting poured in, but it really isn't significant. So we're going to cap this up and give it a good shake. And right away on this one, you can see here that uh, it's kind of slightly cloudy and well mixed. It all mixed up pretty well. So this is about five minutes elapsed. You can see it's windy and blowing outside, slight snow. But uh, I let this sit for about five minutes, maybe six minutes. And I'll tell you, I did not fill up the bottle all the way. I was slightly low on it. But you can see here that we don't have a separation line until we get to the very top, and that's right around 70% ethanol. And you still have a relatively clean separation line. That's something to think about. Next up, I put sugar, I put a teaspoon of sugar into this fuel in water solution, and I shake it up and you got the gel. Um, anytime you guys see uh, not a well-defined separation line between the uh, water and fuel, is usually some sort of contamination. I've seen a lot of sugar over the years. I got a couple stories for you guys sometimes. Uh, but you can see here, that we still have a clear separation line after about five or six minutes. But if you just lightly shake this, watch what happens. You get that jelly, cloudy, bubbly mix where the separation is. And that, that is contamination in my opinion, based on my experiences. So when you see that with a light shake, it's almost like gel. Uh, that's an issue. Now, like I said, I'm not saying you have to have this particular brand bottle. You can even just use a water bottle. You know, um, many times with a water bottle, I'll just 
fill, uh, fill it up to a certain point in water. And I'll use a permanent Sharpie marker on the side of the bottle, fill the rest of the way up with fuel, shake it, um, and let it sit for a little bit. And you'll know right away if you have uh, excess of alcohol or other contaminants in your fuel. So make sure you uh, think about fuel as a uh, drivability concern issue. You know, if we have a no start, hard start, uh, rough running, sometimes you'll come across, you just have bad gas and that's all it is. You can always look at your fuel trim, see what they're doing. You'll have weird stuff going on. Take a fuel sample, see what's up. You guys have a great day. I'm going to go ahead and uh, keep on trying to find inexpensive tools that may help you uh, with your job and make a little tool video for you. Be sure to like, subscribe, and have a great day. Bye-bye.